Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Dentistry to the Point. So as you guys can see, today's topic for our discussion is pleomorphic adenoma. So this topic is related to oral pathology that is tumors of salivary gland. We are going to study 4 to 5 tumors which are important from the exam point of view. So first tumor regarding the tumors of salivary gland is pleomorphic adenoma which is considered to be the most common salivary gland tumor. So my name is Dr. Drumil Manik. Welcome to our channel Dentistry to the Point. So let's start with our discussion of pleomorphic adenoma. So firstly pleomorphic adenoma. What is the meaning of this name? Is naam ka matlab kya? Pleomorphic matlab any such type of cells which show variation in size, shape and staining of their nucleus. Koi bhi aise cells rahenge, variety of cells jisme variation rahega unki size mein, unke shape mein aur unke nuclei ki staining mein. So those cells are considered to be the pleomorphic cells. And that next adenoma. Adenoma ka matlab kya rahega? Any benign tumor arising from the glandular tissue of the epithelial cells जो भी glandular tissue रहेगा epithelial cells का उनमें से अगर कोई भी tumor arise होगा benign tumor उसको अपन क्या कहेंगे adenoma so I think so that is clear now what is the meaning of pleomorphic adenoma pleomorphic adenoma means कि any such type of tumor which histologically shows variation in type of cells which is in size shape and staining of the nucleus along with that the tumor is benign in origin and arising from the glandular component of the epithelial cells. So now firstly pleomorphic adenoma consists of cells differentiating into two categories. This is what we Cells do category mein differentiate honge, that is epithelial component and mesenchymal component. Firstly epithelial component mein do type ke cells rahenge, ductal and non-ductal those having the ductal component this may ducts present hogi and those having no ducts that is non-ductal component now from the mesenchymal component we have three types of cells that is chondroid resembling the connective tissue myxoid resembling the mucus and osseous resembling the bony structure so in total we have five things that is epithelial cells of ductal and non-ductal types along with that we have chondroid, myxoid and osseous types of cells. So in total pleomorphic adenoma is a type of tumor consisting of cells differentiating into epithelial and mesenchymal component. The epithelial component consists of ductal and non-ductal component and mesenchymal component consists of chondroid, myxoid and osseous component. So in total this tumor histologically is characterized as complex intermingling of epithelial and mesenchymal component जो भी epithelial और mesenchymal components दोनों है उनका एक complex intermingling दिखेगा आपको histological section में so this is all about introduction of pleomorphic adenoma उसमें और क्या है कि the other names of pleomorphic adenoma it is also called from other names like mixed tumor Q mixed tumor kahenge because it contains mixture of 4 to 5 types of cells that is pleomorphic in nature. Then next is enclavoma, branchioma, endothelioma and enchondroma. Once again I will repeat mixed tumor, enclavoma, endothelioma, enchondroma and lastly branchioma. So this is one of the most common salivary gland tumor as I have already told you next. According to multicellular theory, the tumor is derived from intercalated duct cells and myopithelial cells of salivary gland. As you guys know, this is a tumor of salivary gland. So according to multicellular theory, it is suggested that the tumor may arise or it is derived from intercalated ductal cells and myopithelial cells of so this is about the introduction of pleomorphic adenoma. Next, moving on to the clinical features and the clinical presentation of pleomorphic adenoma. So firstly, we'll start with the clinical features. So in clinical features, there is there are three main common things. That is the age, that is the most common age, most common sex and the most common site of occurrence of this tumor. Which tumor? That is pleomorphic 
adenoma. So most common age for the occurrence of pleomorphic adenoma is between fourth to sixth decade of life. कब ये most common होगा जब कोई भी इंसान या कोई भी patient will be in fourth to sixth decade of life and the mean age of occurrence is forty three. Yes, क्या है most common age? Most common age is fourth to sixth decade and the mean age is forty three years. Most common sex or most common gender which is most commonly affected with pleomorphic adenoma is females. Females are comparatively more affected as compared to the males. The ratio of female to male affected by pleomorphic adenoma is six is to four. Next is the most common site regarding the occurrence of pleomorphic adenoma. So the most common site of the occurrence of pleomorphic adenoma is parotid gland. So this is considered to be the tumor of parotid gland. In parotid gland, most commonly superficial lobe is affected most of the time. That is 90% of cases of pleomorphic adenoma are seen affected in the superficial lobe. That too in लोअर पोल ऑफ द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड जो भी पैरोटिड ग्लैंड है उसके लोअर पोल में मोस्ट कॉमनली अफेक्टेड होगा इन द सुपरफिशियल लोब द डीपर पोर्शन ऑफ पैरोटिड ग्लैंड आर ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड बट दे आर सीन इन टेन परसेंट ऑफ केसेस रिमेनिंग नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ केसेस आर सीन इन सुपरफिशियल लोब ऑफ द पैरोटिड ग्लैंड नेक्स्ट इज एट परसेंट ऑफ प्लियोमोर्फिक एडिनोमा अराइज इन माइनर सलाइवरी ग्लैंड So this was about the major salivary gland. That parotid gland is the most commonly affected, but in the minor salivary gland, also eight percent of cases of pleomorphic adenoma are seen. So for the minor salivary gland, palate is the most common site amongst the all. There are also other various sites like buccal mucosa and lip, but palate is considered to be the most common site for the occurrence of pleomorphic adenoma of. Minor salivary gland. In major salivary gland, parotid gland is considered to be the most common. Next, discussing about the clinical presentation of this tumor that is pleomorphic adenoma. So, pleomorphic adenoma is a small, painless, quiescent nodule. क्या रहेगा? It is a small, painless, quiescent nodule which is slowly begins to increase in size. It is not occurring very fast. धीरे धीरे ग्रो करेगा एंड इट शोज इंटरमीडियंट ग्रोथ इंटरमीडियंट ग्रोथ मतलब इट विल ग्रो फॉर सम पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन द ग्रोथ इज गोइंग टू स्टॉप देन अगेन द ग्रोथ इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ इज नोन एज इंटरमीडियंट ग्रोथ ऑफ द ट्यूमर नेक्स्ट इट शोज नो फिक्सेशन टू द डीपर टिश्यूज एज वेल एज द ओवरलाइन स्किन जो भी डीपर टिश्यूज रहेंगे उस ट्यूमर के और उसके ऊपर की जो स्किन रहेगी उसके साथ द ट्यूमर इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट फिक्स इसका मतलब क्या हुआ द ट्यूमर इज गोइंग टू रिमेन फ्रीली मूवेबल वेर एवर इट इज गोइंग टू अकर मोस्ट कॉमन इफ यू सी द स्मॉल ट्यूमर्स आर मोर मूवेबल एज कम्पेयर टू द लार्ज ट्यूमर्स बिकॉज द लार्ज ट्यूमर्स आर गोइंग टू कवर मोर अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस सो मोर अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस विल बी कवर्ड सो द मूवमेंट विल बी डिक्रीज बट इट इज नॉट दैट कि ये मूव नहीं करेंगे द ट्यूमर शोज नो फिक्सेशन दस इट इज free from the deeper tissues and the overlying skin that means the tumor will be movable it will be soft and rubbery in consistency usually irregular nodular lesion kya rahega irregular it is not going to have any kind of shape and which is firm in consistency and pain is not usually seen in this type of tumor the firm in consistency rahenge that will be seen in the minor salivary gland tumors that is in the palatal mucosa because the palatal mucosa is quite firm as compared to the other sides of the tumor next localized discomfort is usually present during mastication talking and breathing whenever the patient will have a tumor in the intraoral side that is in the palate or in the deeper portions of the parotid gland then the tumor is going to occur in the oral cavity or on the lateral wall of the oropharynx so in that case the patient may feel difficulty in mastication talking and breathing otherwise the patient is not going to feel any kind of difficulty if the tumor is on the outer parts next 
फेशियल नर्व इन्वॉल्वमेंट इफ एंड एनी देर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ फेशियल नर्व देर आर चांसेस दैट द पेशेंट मे हैव फेशियल पैरालिसिस एंड लास्टली प्योमोर्फिक एडिनोमा ऑफ एंट्रा ओरल एसेसरी ग्लैंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू द ट्यूमर ऑफ एंट्रा ओरल एसेसरी ग्लैंड इज गोइंग टू अकर मोस्ट कॉमनली इन पैलेट विच इज गोइंग टू बी वन टू टू सेंटीमीटर इन साइज इट विल बी अ बेट फॉर्म इन कंसिस्टेंसी बट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू रिमेन फिक्स टू द बोन और टू द म्यूकोजा दस द ट्यूमर विल बी ऑल्सो स्लाइटली मूवेबल बिट इट विल नॉट बी एज मूवेबल एज सीन इन द आउटर पार्ट दैट इज अकरिंग इन द पैरोटिक ग्लैंड सुपरफिशियल लोब ऑफ पैरोटिक ग्लैंड सो दिस इज अबाउट द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ प्लियोमोर्फिक एडिनो